Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body out into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about balancing the foot, ankle, and the lower leg. And once more, we're, we're using our favorite prop, the spiky ball. So again, just like in a previous episode when we talked about opening the hand, wrist, and forearm, that this is a really good opportunity when you just have a minute or a few minutes, you've been walking a lot, you've been standing a lot, or on the other side of the coin, you've just been sitting a lot and your legs and feet feel really stagnant. This is a really quick way to kind of wake things up and create a little bit of circulation and hydration in, in your fascia that is enormous in the foot, the ankle, and the lower leg. Now, a lot of times we're, you know, you've seen this a million times on our site, rolling out the bottom of the foot, which feels wonderful. A little bit kind of counterintuitive, we wouldn't think about it, but try rolling out the top of the foot. Ideally, if I had a full floor, and maybe I can make it here, but a full floor for the ball of my foot, my heel, and my toes, right? And then, especially if my toes are on a floor and I can spread my toes, and I can really get the spiky ball kind of in between my toes. It feels really good. And of course, my fourth and my fifth toe, <laughs> they're acting like one toe. So I have to pull those apart because that's a really important line to get is that fifth metatarsal line that we forget about so much. So really paying attention to that and on the outer ankle, at the front of the ankle, on the inner ankle, on the inner heel, um, and then spending some time at the front of the ankle talking to your talus. And then of course, on either side of your tibia bone, you can get into some of that meat and talk to your lower leg. Because of course, it's so important to balance our lower leg tissue for a lot of different reasons, but um, most importantly, that these muscles turn into tendons in our foot and our toes. So to help the mobility and, and the sensory apparatus in our foot, we really need to balance the lower leg. All right, thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site.